Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the New Lemuria Rising. Happy Goddess Bridget Day of Embolk and 2-1 Portal Activation. This powerful month of February begins with a bang as our local Solaris releases a massive flash of light appearing as a huge CME. As our green comet ZTF with the blue tail, as the blue Kachina of Hopi prophecy, reaches her closest trajectory to Earth, she sends her healing aquamarine ray of transformation. With all these intense energies coming in, Pachamama received another powerful activation with a magnitude 6.0 earthquake on the Ring of Fire in the Philippines at 1044 UTC and coded with our Earth Angelic Code of the 144. We also witnessed two major spikes and columns of white light on the Schumann charts at 27 Hz and a massive blast at 62 Hz fifth dimensional and beyond energetics flowing in. All these energies pulsing in are preparing us for the powerful 2-2 portal tomorrow as it will be the final day of this full galactic spin on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with Keen 260, yellow cosmic sun, as the Cristo Sophia consciousness floods this realm with the gold light of Source Creator. Be in the peace of the kingdom of heaven within. We are the calm in the storm, the eye of the hurricane. In the still center we hold the line, the sanity within the chaos. In the Buddha mind all is perfectly awake in the pure awareness of eternal life. Chosen ones of the new earth manifestation, together we rise, divided was the fall. We learned from the illusions and delusions and now we transcend and resolve all that has kept us from our divine cosmic heritage. Aho! Welcome beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful invocation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 2 degrees, 28 minutes Cancer. The sun is at 12 degrees, 55 minutes Aquarius. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 13 degrees Aquarius, a barometer. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 3 degrees Cancer. An Arctic explorer leads a reindeer through icy canyons. From astrologyweekly.com And from divine sister of the light Emily Kate from a light from Albion. The day of Bridget. Bridget in pre-Christian Ireland was a member of Tue Jadanan and a triple deity. Saint Bridget, coming centuries later, held her namesake. February 1st celebrates the day of St. Bridget and Bridget the Celtic goddess. It is an example of how the pre-Christian pagan goddesses who held the Christos Sophia energy have been woven into some aspects of Christianity. Regardless of the origin, Bridget the goddess brings her sword through to this timeline to shine light on Ireland and Avalon again, as she has in the past. Blessings from the Tuae Jadanan and from the Triple Goddess, Emily Kate Ashnia Allah, and from Divine Sistar of the Light Sophie Bashford. In bulk blessings, invoke the healing spirit of Goddess Bridget on her feast day, which calls in the beginnings of spring. Bridget's name means fiery arrow, and she's the Irish goddess of healing, fire, water, medicine, smithcraft, and poetry. Bridget calls on you to remember your power as a healer. It's safe now to light up the world with your healing gifts. And if you need healing energy yourself, trust in the energies flowing to you from the goddess. In bulk heralds a fresh healing pathway and a new flame of hope in your heart. From SophieBashford.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Daniel Lisandru Stancio Lescu. Sirius B. Transmission, 
we are one we are the everlasting sound of god we are the voice of the stars the crystal star stands with us above andromeda below earth we channel light to it we are dolphin bipedal humanoids we are here to ring the bell of awakening bear hawk eagle and from divine sistar of the light sophie gregoire update expect powerful change transformation and the manifestation of newness in the next couple of weeks a new timeline is starting and you are ready for it things are aligning for you and the realization of your soul goals a blessing you aren't fathoming is on approach it's about to feel lighter and more fluid move forward spread your wings from sophie and from divine brother of the light roberto nunez two 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 this is a sign you will receive amazing news and experience a sudden breakthrough in the next twenty four hours hold the light with all your strength final tests of truth eleven eleven we have the keys the light codes feeling awesome you are not born here to suffer you are born to bring the light and from divine sister of the light camila mara akerstrom beloved beautiful soul when we start to remember the infinite of soul we also start realizing the infinite potential we possess if you take a moment drop into your heart and observe yourself in a new multi-dimensional field a field connected to the new cosmic energy a field connected to a new earth the seed of a new matrix is created for you to start to project into this new dimension from within your open heart it will become a manifestation from camilla mara dot com and from divine sister of the light celia fenn february first comet ztf closely passes by the earth today is the day in which comet ztf makes its close pass by the earth and did i feel it last night i had such weird dreams and i woke up with a headache and feeling strange in my body but it was quite an experience i felt as though i was being sent messages by an alien consciousness that was touching on my consciousness and communicating with me a cosmic message in a bottle as i called it before the dream was in tones of black and green but it was not threatening rather it had a sense of deep galactic energy the images in the dream did carry deep messages for me although i did not understand everything because the consciousness was so different to what i have experienced before this is exciting for me because it supports what i have been told about water plasma as a means of galactic communication remember that comets contain a high degree of ice so they are able to communicate or transmit messages they also develop ion tails when they closely pass objects such as our earth that are further means of communicating with the object planet such exciting times that we live in so onward to the two two aquarius gate tomorrow and our connection with the flows of heavenly water via the aqua heart from celia dot com and from divine sister of the light marie josie garrison de l'homme we entered february and followed by march and april months of great transformations at the collective level some name them months of storms i prefer the months that will change everything trust the divine plan after the storm the energy that the benevolent comet will settle in with will bring miraculous change all the efforts we put in since 2020 will be visible and they have started to be visible through each and every one of us if we take the time to look at ourselves we are not the same since 2020 21 and 22 plasma gamma solar energy descends to the earth plane and transforms the human being as it awakens it and transforms his consciousness so that each step makes transport and mutual help cooperation and compassion the veil rises and tightens to make room for intuition feeling telepathy and compassion the divine plan is already written all of you just have to do is trust and keep working through you for this plan to happen we are one a huge change in evolution is hovering over all of us and upon the earth and we will all benefit from it shortly 
Magic and miracles are very present. The metamorphosis has begun and nothing can stop it. The month of February is trust, caring, compassion, honesty, respect, and love. Love to you all. Amo. From MarieJosieMedium.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Michael Love. The Earth Alliance, Space Weather, Intel. February 1st, 2023, 5D Cosmic Light Wave Impacts Earth. A Pleiadian Light Forces Space Weather Broadcast to the Star Seeds of Earth. Great one. We've got some powerful cosmic rays coming in and we know you've been feeling it. The Earth Alliance reports at this hour that an incredible 40 hertz light wave impacted Earth's atmosphere at approximately 6 a.m. this morning. This high vibrational cosmic light wave originated from the galactic core and bounced off the sun towards Earth with incredible speed and power. The spike pegged the bottom of the Schumann chart, which is the lower boundary of the fifth dimensional gamma level of resonance and consciousness. The ancients referred to the 40 to 100 hertz gamma state of being as bliss, heaven, nirvana, and Shambhala. Gamma is a super high vibe that feels amazing, and when enough of this divine light flows into the earth, for example, when the grand solar flash occurs, this entire realm will be saturated in pure, high frequency light in a sustained way. After this, the Schumann resonance graph would appear as one completely white image, and it would indeed be a cosmic level whiteout on Earth. 40 to 100 hertz gamma light will activate all dormant human primary DNA strands up to strand 5, allowing the consciousness that inhabits the body to decode and perceive the fifth level of consciousness referred to as heaven on Earth. Gamma is a state of superconsciousness. And it's just when you're in a super divine flow. Gamma is the pure God state of being that any ascended master has attained, where there are no limits to one's abilities. Ascension symptom reports are elevated at this hour as the beings of earth bathe in this cosmic light. The Earth Alliance says there is a high chance that more of these 40 hertz cosmic waves will impact the planet in the coming hours and days. Hang in there and just breathe it all in. Thank you for coming to Earth at this time and for all you are doing. Feel free to share any ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com From Divine Sistar of the Light, Akash Ra, Azurite. We just hit our highest jump gate. We just quantum jumped seven years. We have one more leap tomorrow, 222 Portal, Crystalline Diamond Rainbow Codes, Golden Liquid Light Activation for a Year Jump. We hope you are all feeling this beautiful bliss within your higher heart, universal crystal heart. How is everyone feeling with all these new frequencies? Are you ready to quantum jump galactic style to your highest pure soul aligned timelines? Are you ready for blissful higher states of consciousness, quantum multidimensional living, 5D to 7D through 12D and beyond. What are you calling forth today? New opportunities, high vibrational soul to soul, 7D, 5D relationships, definitely 7D for all star seeds. Are you ready to shift your old paradigm, fixed belief systems, old stories, old shadow, ego programming? Welcome to our Utopia Lightship Crystalline Community. How's your new crystalline physical body vessel vibration feeling? Remember, the more density, the more we purge physical body upgrades, ascension symptoms. For me, definitely lots of sleep and headaches. We, multidimensional oversouls, me's, are still breaking unconscious programming, dissolving the mind vortexes, breaking energy patterns for full zero-point field systems after nine years. 5D experience, I'm seeing only crystalline diamond plasma liquid light, diamond energy matrices. Our world, universe, galactic realities, beautiful rainbow ray pastel photonic light spectrums through my plasma eyes. Amethyst tone now, shifting from aurora light pastel green crystalline plasma eyes to now amethyst tone. 
new higher over soul self full integration full 5d rainbow world absolutely beyond words shadow out of tune energy unconscious sleeping programming 4d separation judgment frequencies role-playing 4d consciousness matrices dissolving still still awesome to see all systems moving tuning to oneness higher frequency bandwidths our new divine sacred union holy union 2-2 portal will provide a huge shift within tomorrow for soul marriage over souls merging divine sacred union partners trinity union codes your soul inner marriage reminder all new frequencies all new magical heart-to-heart -heart divine sacred union holy union relationships templates new soul agreements ready to start oneness connection soul recall galactic soul family agreements new soul agreements 5d new earth magical mystical experiences reminder 5d contracts shift in and out every nanosecond in this now there's a tuning station for integration with your universal soul higher self embodiment light fields no attachments no ego really cool we have to navigate this new station with pure love intelligence diamond light reminder drink plenty of pure clean water lemuria water fruit flowers high vibrational foods new calibration for all new christic diamond systems lots of nature walks deep self mastery talks with your multi-dimensional use exercise flow the body crystalline kundalini energy tuning exercise yoga running tai chi stretching shamanic dancing light encoded dancing lots of music to keep the vibe high crystals andaras master crystals drumming we open a beautiful transmission galactic timeline multi-star gate jumping for all souls aligned to our star seed star being galactic being community ship remember to raise your vibrational frequencies through pure love source within play magic have fun galactic transmission from akasha ra azurite and galactic family happy new earth galactic nova terra golden earth golden diamond age timelines from star seed evolution united dot net and from divine sister of the light isa gabriel a new shift is taking place last night before sleeping a very tall light being appeared and spoke to me i already know that when certain things come up they are already waiting by the time i want to go to bed sometimes if i dawdle a little they slightly urge that i go to sleep now so i was lying in bed and sensed this energy figure and asked who is there i sensed a lion energy and asked if they are the white lions lyron i heard and right after that we are going to work with you today there is going to be a big shift and we are preparing you they further told me that many new souls will awaken and also souls and beings of lower vibrational nature will leave or be taken out the dark beings some systems outer world will be shifted in their structure this shift will happen from the inside to the outside this reminds me somewhat of the jesus codes i received about one and a half years ago these codes change the way you perceive this world it's as if the codes help to fully work with the new operating system that was downloaded for us in 2020 or for some in 2021 i can't speak for everyone i feel it is an adjustment to function in the new matrix and of being able to hold higher frequencies and act consciously in the quantum field so the systems are transformed from the inside to the outside i saw images of employees in public offices or state systems through many small decisions the structure of how these systems function shifts it starts from a few people and transfers to the others this restructuring spreads like a wave i saw a picture where different layers and building blocks were shifted within themselves so it will be easier and more constructive to act with the 3d world in the last months the 3d world felt rather heavy as i feel it also i could perceive energetically the preparation for the separation of the worlds i saw how things are literally sorted back and forth 
comes with, stays there, is sorted out, comes with, etc. As written in my post about the separation of worlds, those who live in the new world will no longer interact with those of the old world. This happens first on a frequency basis, and then there is a physical separation of worlds. With all my love, Isa Gabriel. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Kirsty Elizabeth, my friends. I have to tell you that I have not seen such a dark time spiritually since before 2012, and I have to wonder about the sense of where things are going. January 2023 has been full-on toxic with dark forces triggering off the worst of us, causing many sensitives to take a head-down approach to getting through. Emotional energy has been centered on the shadows due to the immense purging that was set in motion directly after the 1-1 portal. Those with distempered personality traits have been indulging in the darker sensations of self-gratification, whether this be deceitful plotting or poisonous responses. Deceit, manipulation, falseness, to name a few, have been commonplace in feeding on jealousy, insecurity, and lack. This has caused much hurt to the sensitive community. The victim-victor divide has been named and widened the sense of polarity, not only in politics, media, and business, but also within communities and families. Control through devious action is the name of the game and, quite honestly, is more out in the open and obvious than ever before. For sensitives, we are at an unknown point of transformation, shown to me as the point between death and rebirth. And with all this fire energy in our environment, we know that this is Phoenix work. Our spiritual status stands in a most mysterious place, known only to high masters of alchemy transformation. The Phoenix has risen and has had its day, and now falls into its own flames in a fiery death. Only through legend can we find the telling of this process of energetic rebirth, and little is known of this phase in between. Where does the spirit of the phoenix reside during this collecting of new energies and potential rebuild? Meanwhile, the demons dance in the fires and revel in their seeming defeat at the death of this most powerful bird of light, and in the shadows they look to use the fire for destructive purposes and dark gains. Remember that sensitives cannot be fooled, lied to, manipulated, or controlled in any way they cannot see. Sensitives see it all. They hold heightened skills and in intuition, empathy, and sixth sense awareness. They see straight through masks, secret gestures, emotional responses, fake use of language, and all other measures of the underhand world of deceit. If sensitives knew, one, their true power, and two, their mass in numbers, they would realize that their power to see truth holds to the point that is most cutting as to stop falsehood dead in their tracks and call a spade a spade. Traditionally, sensitives have been conditioned into weakness, but we are now in a new era where sensitives will learn to stand up against the darkness they so obviously see. Highly sensitive people have the deepest ability to observe and take interpretation from the slightest act. The growth and spiritual awakening will continue to bring more individuals into a place of new sensitivity. Some may even go through hell to develop. January 2023 has been a dark time where shadow creatures dance on the ashes of the dead phoenix. Those who resonate with this post will know. They best be careful where they put their footing as there is imminently a new rising on the way. Kirsty Elizabeth from Divine Sis Star of Delight, Judith Kusel. The end of the old movies and the old actors' roles. So many old souls are reaching the completion of their soul contracts and missions, which pertain to the old earth and all ever created upon her and within her. Many of these are star-seeded souls, wisdom keepers, teachers, way-showers, wanderers, who kept the light steady, through intense periods of catastrophes, upheavals, and darkness. As old souls, they are mostly linked with the original twelve master galaxies, star systems, and constellations, namely the Pleiades, Lyra, Orion, Sirius, Sirius B, the wormhole galaxies between Orion and Sirius, partly blown up during the Wars of Heavens, Andromeda, 
the Bear constellation, Cygnus, the Milky Way galaxy, and others. However, some were blown up during the Wars of Heavens and some so severely damaged that a lot of them became inhabitable. Your soul is always linked to your own home galaxy and most of the old souls have had millions of Earth years connection to this planet, whether in the capacity of higher guides or part of the intergalactic federation teams, teachers, leaders, and whatever way they chose to serve on this planet. In universal terms, do not exist, so you could have had parallel lives and existences in multiple form. As only a fraction of your soul incarnated on this planet, the other parts were all working elsewhere, just like now. As 2023 is a catapult year in so many ways, you will find that a lot of the old soul memory banks will start to surface, which finally need to be released. Much of these are negative patterns the soul repeated in other incarnations and mostly did not resolve or dissolve. As there are the end times in so many respects, but at the same time extensive transfiguration and evolutionary changes, and we are reborn into the new earth. You cannot take these memory banks with you. You need to be freed, and as every soul has free will and choice, you can choose not to do the inner work and carry on as before. Yet in order to be truly free so that you can ascend, these miscreations need to be acknowledged and dissolved through the power of forgiveness, and this means of self and others. Yet through this all new life and new beginnings dawn, and this is where the truth of the soul shines through, as you can finally shed all the personas and characters and the dramas of life on this planet you ever chose to play out with other souls. It was all just a huge holographic movie you acted in. Now it is time to take off the old makeup, the masks, the garments, and stand there, stripped naked to the core of your soul, and then allow yourself to be transfigured back into the true light body form, your soul and truth is the truth of your soul. Many old souls will simply choose to leave now, yet as many will choose to ascend and to not only witness the birth of the new golden age, but to step into universal mastery and anchor in their soul expertise to assist with the co-creation of the new golden age. After all, they lifted humanity through many dark ages and rebirths, and now this is their final gift of love as souls to this planet and to the new humanity now emerging. Since 1994, new souls have incarnated who have no previous lifetimes on earth and indeed are the new humanity. They are the rainbow children, followed in 2012 by an even more advanced new human race, the sun children, and since 2019, the diamond platinum sun children. They are even more highly advanced than the rainbow children and come from the seventh central sun, now re-established as the central sun, as the Milky Way galaxy is now back into the original orbit she originally was in. The connection goes directly through Sirius. All of this links as one. The old souls preparing the way, holding the light steady for the new souls, so that they can step into the fullness of their soul powers under the guidance of the old souls, and then will be the new golden human race, the seventh and in the seventh earth. It is all happening now, and as you hear this, the keys and codes of your own soul will be triggered, so that you can start remembering on a much vaster scale. Many of these old souls were the ones who assisted with the co-creation of the old earth when Elysium and then later the Lion Kingdom were born. The next wave came in during the time of the androgynous Mu and Lemuria and are returning androgyny. The next wave were those of Atlantis and those who came here during the time of Atlantis, when Atlantis opened their doors to galactic races to settle here, the Chinese and Japanese. 2023 is the year of the great awakening of the soul memory banks, which we could not access before because of the veils of amnesia. These were tied up with the 96 chambers of our third eye and the seven levels of the third eye, the single eye of Horus. This is indeed the infinite eye, which was closed down when humanity fell from grace. More than this, the hidden secret chamber in the crown and in the heart, 
All will be fully open during the next few months, and suddenly those souls who wish to ascend into the new earth will find that their inner soul faculties are being returned. What a time to be alive and well and on planet earth. This is the greatest event which ever happened on earth, and we are in for a rather turbulent but amazing year, as all is revealed, and we return to the true state of innocence, in and up to 2032. From JudithCusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica, Nebulas, Universal Creation our role is to provide answers to your cosmic origins, assist your individual journeys and the current planetary expansion. For the starseed frequency is beyond many residing in your world. Know their window of light is beginning to awaken from the limitations beyond the construct. We ask you to visualize a floating nebula, for it is a cocoon of unique light encodements of birth and creation. To focus on the nebula image, for it amplifies the frequency of expansion and universal knowing to a greater expansion of your existence. For many beings use nebulas as places of sanctuary and can be seen as points of unity across the galaxy. We ask you to expand your interdimensional vision and feel into this frequency. As you start from a 3D eye vision, energetic perspective, expand the feeling of the nebula, expand your point of connection to the higher dimensions, what do you feel and perceive? Understand this is a wonderful technique to raise your travel capabilities and see a multidimensional perspective of the universe. To understand your role is to expand your connection beyond your current dimensional reality. To know your travel capabilities are fully available to the higher dimensions. Simply believe and connect. To take this a step further as you're expanding now, simply feel and believe. With love and blessings, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah, Whitehorse. Sun and Aquarius, Sextile Chiron and Aries. There's an opportunity for healing and reconciliation. Chiron is a natural bridge builder and a mentor and guide to all. In Aries, he heals the part of us that thinks we have no right to be here. The part of us that is afraid to push forward or go after what we want. That part of us that is afraid to take action. Here is a chance to accept ourselves as we are, delight in our difference. Self-acceptance is crucial if we are to achieve our ideal future and live our best life. If physical, mental, or emotional health needs attention, communicate with that part of you that requires healing with warmth, as if you are speaking to a friend. See problems as fuel to motivate positive change. If you have been struggling with issues of confidence and assertion, now is the time to be brave. Imagine you are the dawn breaking, a sky painter, a light healer. Every day is a fresh start. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 259, Blue Crystal Storm. Crystal is the name for the number 12, and its keywords are cooperate, dedication, and universalize. Crystal days are great for getting together in groups, finding your people, and working in teams. This teaches us that we do not have to struggle alone on our journey, that others are facing the same challenges. By supporting one another and sharing our experiences, we can then progress down our path. The twelfth day of a wave spell is the day traditionally that people get together to hold a crystal court. This gathering is for sharing experiences about the calendar and learning from each other. Today is Blue Storm, which represents catalyze, energy, and self-generation. Storms are full of energy, and much can be accomplished by harnessing this energy. As the storm is combined with the number 12, this suggests that sweeping changes can be made if you team up with other people. It's the most revolutionary day in the Zolkeen. There's so much energy in the storm. It'd be wasted not to make use of it. Tomorrow is the last day of the Zolkeen, and these last few days are always intense. Stormy days and seldom relaxing, and this stormy day is, in particular is wild just because of it taking place in the last wave spell. 
contemplate the changes you want to make in your life, and also think about what changes have taken place in the last 260 days. Soon we begin a whole new spin on the Zolkin, but you must assess how you did this time round before the cycle starts again. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Crystal Storm, 12 Koak. Keen 259, the 1st of February 2023, Storm Warning. The celestial storm is here. Global transformation through cooperation. 1 2 2023 equal 1 2 7 equal 1 9 equal 10 equal 1. 1 1 Bright New Beginnings. Day codes 1 New Beginnings Leader Independent Original. 10 Manifestation Leader Authority Power. Month year codes, two, twins, partners, alliances, cooperation, duality, seven, spiritual test, initiation, solitude, magic, mystic, magician, nine, completion, endings, mission, destiny, service, humanitarian, grace, 20, the awakening, clear vision, 23, royal star of the lion, strength, protection, support, keen 259 equals 16 equals 7, Magic, spiritual, mystic, a hugely transformative, legendary day as we band together in our united purpose and watch magic happen. Today is the second last day, day 259, in the Zolkin 260-day calendar. We are in day 12 of the Yellow Star Wave Spell headed towards our evolution as golden, Christed star, blessed suns expanding into supernova status as bright shining superstars yesterday the white spectral mirror reflected all the cracks distortions and disharmony that needed to be released and today blue storm follows up like a giant street sweeper clearing away any remaining dust and debris and then flushing them down the drain washing our streets and planet clean again what a brilliant metaphor for what will unfold today the dream spell is such an accurate GPS for our planetary evolution. This is the final purge of this 260-day cycle that was birthed nine months ago on the 19th of May 2022. We are flushing away the old, dirty, stagnant energies in order to fully anchor our mighty I Am Presence. Tomorrow with the coming of the yellow cosmic sun, heralding our arrival as the children of the sun, golden christed buddha angelic humans this phenomenal ascension phase aligns with the arrival of comet ztf today february 1st 2nd as the harbinger of new light to our planet heralding a huge shift in consciousness a huge evolutionary personal and collective breakthrough is upon us beloveds day 12 of the spectacular yellow star wave spell the last of 20 wave spells where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty grace and harmony in our lives so that our lives become a living work of art and so we reach day 12 in the final countdown to piercing the veil through to source today we are catalyzing tremendous powerful forces for transformation and self-generation of ourselves and our planetary body through uniting together through universal consciousness very exciting times indeed star bliss suns tone of creation crystal tone 12 in the mental realm action universalizes power dedicate essence cooperation through the space and freedom engendered by yesterday's spectral phase new partnerships emerge energy comes together and crystal beings form stories must be shared for what great adventures we have had planetary kin and what grand stories they are today we have a universal connection of our collective minds day 12 of the yellow star wave spell is about cooperation we are joining together with our kin dedicating our minds to attaining harmony and peace through our unified purpose broadcasting this through the holographic crystalline grid the daily numerology is 1, 10, 1 using our power and authority to manifest new beginnings and bringing forth this new era. We are creating magic in our planetary transformation, magical divine connections and cooperative alliances for the common good, 
all magnifying the power of the crystal tone. The diamond crystalline grid is now complete, ready and open for operations. Telepathy rules the order of the day and becomes the new Wi-Fi. All new systems are now online, fully loaded onto the collective mainframe. This new light from the comet is providing a clear and reformat, a total game changer. The new reality is ready for the rollout. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Tune into those comet light waves for your miraculous phoenix rebirth. As you open to the remembrance of your true light, the voice of spirit will freely flow through your vessel as a divine conduit in service to humanity. Let us all stand together in full remembrance of our star light. The return of the new golden era is imminent. Alleluia. Today's question is how can we catalyze these magical transformational energies to become more dedicated to the universal God force, uniting humanity as one global family under the divine plan. Buckle up, beloved star bliss sons. The celestial storm is here. Batten down the hatches. May you seek safe harbor through the chaos until tomorrow when the yellow cosmic sun rises on a new cosmic dawn. A whole planetary kin, Godspeed on your, your journey into the light. Victory to the light. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 259, Blue Crystal Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I dedicate in order to catalyze universalizing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation with the crystal tone of cooperation. I am guided by the power of magic. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Juliet, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Or if you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Bro Thor the Light David Levesque for another super thanks donation on YouTube. Thank you very much, Divine Bro Thor. We appreciate you and your continued support. I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sheila, for another super thanks donation on YouTube. Thank you, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you all very much. We appreciate you very much indeed. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totem, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sitara Lutz. Golden Flame Manifestation I am the golden flame. The great central sun let me down to earth. I am the holy light of the almighty and only God. I am the golden flame that takes possession of your heart. I am the golden one who replaces all the matter consumed by the purple flame and the blue flame. I fill your hearts, I fill your souls, I fill in the vacuum created by leaving discord. Everything is purified here in you, 
So I come and fill you with my perfection and my love. I fill you with the power of the great central sun, the supreme divinity. That is right. Amen, amen, amen. Om Tat. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed 222 portal as we continue through the ascension vortex and bring in the powerful energy of the blue kachina through our sacred heart center and activate the blue pearl that leads us to the clear light of bliss. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.